New England Patriots Woo-hoo! <laughs> have opened their training camp writ large. Everybody there. Everybody there. And the gathered media, one of the many questions asked of Bill Belichick is, who is calling the plays on offense now that Josh McDaniels is gone? He's now the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. My Las Vegas Raiders. Uh-oh. They are your last yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Belichick has not named any coordinators. And by the way, the, the New England media has been hammering at this issue. They're just bored. For weeks, if not months. <laughs> Who is calling the plays the Sox, and right? why will you not name an offensive coordinator? As a matter of fact, the titles for his coaching staff came out just last week. Joe Judge got the title of offensive assistant slash quarterbacks. So he's going to be the one in... Um, Matt Jones is here, and Matt Patricia is senior football advisor slash offensive line. Who's calling the plays? Bill Belichick asked exactly that today. Is there is there a point this summer where you want to make it clear to your players or who, who is uh, calling the plays on that end? Yeah, uh, look, I'm the head coach. Ultimately, I'm responsible for everything, so just leave it at that. That's what it is. And that's his answer uh, there um, is is curt and uh, and very short and to the point. <laughs> and by the way, there's no question every single offensive player knows right now who's calling the plays because that person is most likely calling the plays in training camp, training camp. Remember those? What we, when he was asked about that in OT, what do we call it? Uh, OTA camp, plays? Minicamp mini plays. plays. Is that what we were talking about? Minicamp plays. <laughs> Everybody knows. And apparently it's Matt Patricia. Tom Curran, who covers the Patriots for New England uh, for New York, NBC Sports Boston, says, I'm nearing IDGAF territory. Look it up. On the play caller slash OC slash DC talk, Patricia's going to call the plays and be acting OC. But not naming him allows the Patriots to let Detroit keep paying him through the end of his Lions contract, which is this year, and means Patricia doesn't have to do weekly coordinator calls. All right, so there's your answer. <laughs> There's your answer. And and Belichick's not going to spell it out like that. So it's Patricia and his number two pencil will be calling the plays this year. And you can have your own questions about whether that's going to be the same as McDaniels or not. You know, have questions about how effective that's going to be or not. But that's the way it's going to be. And the players already know it. Now then, what is Bill willing to talk about? Usually it's the past, Right. You got to ask him questions about the past. Instead of asking about his tight ends right now, ask him about his tight ends right now through the, pris- the prism of Zeke Moat, and you'll get a long answer. <laughs> okay? <laughs> what about his quarterback, Mac Jones? How's he going to look? Normally you'll get like, yeah, well, we'll see when we see. Yes. Nah, here was his answer today. Yeah, I think Mac's done a great job. Uh, he's, he's worked extremely hard. Uh, he's got a tremendous work ethic and uh, in all areas. Um, you know, I think there's a dramatic improvement. Um, his, you know, his physical uh, work and conditioning, um, working on his mechanics, working on his footwork, working on his understanding of our offense, of opponent defenses, of situations, um, all those things. Um, we've talked about all those things in varying degrees, some more emphasis than others, and the emphasis on maybe some other things will come later on. We can't do it all at once, but... Yeah, he's worked hard. He's made tremendous strides, and and um, you know he did a great job last year. But he's starting from a much much higher point this year than than where he started last year. So um, you know his his off season work has been significant, and I think everyone recognizes um, you know how how well he prepares um, and how much further along he was than than he was a year ago. I mean, that is just babbling on about it. Just nonstop. Ask Brady. That's a manhole cover he just threw around right there. He didn't have to do that for Tom, though. Well, I mean, early on in his career, maybe. I don't know. Look, we always look about forevermore Belichick talking about Mac Jones in the same way as how he handled Brady. It's 2022, and he was – that is – to. You can't even call that high praise. That is the ultimate from Belichick. You got to be fired up, man. He wouldn't be doing that unless Mac Jones can A, handle it, or B, deserve it. He had a great year last year. But, but to say that he's done all of that, and the remarkable thing is 
he's clearly taken to his independent study time. <laughs> clearly taken to independent study time. Wow. wow. Top 10 QB, let's go. Pedro <laughs> Martinez coming up as well. I'm picking them to win the AFC East. You're Ooh. out of your mind. What there. can we get for no, odds on that, Mikey? Right now, I, I'm taking. Let's look right now. Are Rocky. you really going to do that? I swear, I'm putting a hundred. I'm, I'm definitely putting money. Because at some right point, did you just give me the hundred? Then no, oh, just like let I me have it. I won with the Patriots making the playoffs last year, and I made it. You guys win the NFC. Yeah, how they do in the playoffs okay, last but, but year? It doesn't matter. I just had to make it. Uh, uh, I want a little cash. Five to one right now. Five to one. Here's how it goes. Here, here's good. the amazing thing. Buffalo doesn't play New England until Week 13. That is the way. That is the week after. That is the week after Thanksgiving, oh, a Thursday night game. Again, two teams that are playing on Thanksgiving, so it's a full complement of rest. That is your week 13 post-Thanksgiving Thursday night game, and then the final game of the year is at Buffalo. So I will just say this. That would give me pause for your uh, statement there, Mikey. Is Why? Josh Allen, what, know, he did Josh la- Allen. Oh, what he did last year. I love him. This is why he's so beloved in this town of Western New York, Buffalo, and everybody else there as well, as for the obvious reasons. He snatched New England's soul in the playoffs. No, I know. And that doesn't make up for 20 years of Brady ass kicking, but it turned a page. It turned a page, and New England is now David. Because this quarterback is a Goliath. He is a, as I I said, I called this two years ago. I said, Josh Allen is coming for your souls. He comes for your soul. And he has, when he has the ball in his hand, and you're going to see it this year, a, a sense of inevitability. That when you're going against somebody like him, Trust me, as a Jet fan going against Brady no, and Marino, when those guys had the ball in their hands, and Jim Kelly, for those K-Gun years, they had the ball in their hands, you're just like, okay, how is he going to hurt me now? I, I, I have to steel myself for that moment. Allen showed that face to New England last year. So Mac Jones, I'm glad for your sake, Chris, and for every New England fan that I know, including those in my household, to hear that major Step of improvement, because that's what's going to be necessary. And Tua better be the most accurate quarterback in the league. And the Jets better have made the right moves in the draft, because Buffalo is here to stay.